Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, Problem number 32. A long non-conducting solid cylinder of radius 4 cm has non-uniform volume charge density rho that is a function of radial distance r from the cylinder axis rho equal to a r square rho equal to a r square uh, for a equal to 2.5 micro coulomb per meter power 5 uh, what is the magnitude of the electric field at r equal to 3 centimeters and r equal to 5 centimeters so we have a cylindrical symmetry but with non-uniform charge density rho is equal a r square a is a constant r is the radial distance from the axis we had find out uh, field radius of the cylinder is 4 centimeters and we had find out field at a point which is inside it at 3 centimeters from the axis and then at a point which is outside it at a distance of 5 centimeters from the axis okay so since cylindrical symmetry is there so we'll be using gauss law for this uh, and this chapter is about gauss law uh, gauss law if we have a look at gauss law gauss law is flux through any closed surface which is integral e dot da is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon zero Okay, Q n close divided by epsilon 0. Since A is already here, so I'll use uh, S here. I'm using DS for the area element. Okay, DS for the area element. Q n close divided by epsilon 0. Left hand side is very simple. Right hand side, we'd find out Q n closed. What we are given is charge density as a function of R. Charge density rho, which means charge of a unit volume is rho. Charge of a unit volume is rho. So what is the charge uh, within a volume V that would be normally charge density into the volume. If one unit volume has charge density rho, then uh, if, if one unit volume has charge rho, charge per unit volume, so one unit has rho, then two units would have two rho, three units would have three rho, ten units would have ten rho, V unit volumes would have V rho. But that would be the case if rho is constant. But rho is not constant here. Rho is a function of R. So we'll have to go for integration to find out charge enclosure. Now, uh, again, we, uh, in order to solve this integral, we choose a Gaussian surface, which has to be a closed surface and a symmetric surface. So this is a cylindrical symmetry. So obviously we choose a cylindrical Gaussian surface. So this green uh, one is a Gaussian surface, Gaussian cylinder there with a radius of R, with a radius of R. So what is charge enclosed by? First we'll find out charge enclosed, okay? So I'll consider this green cylinder of radius r and find out charge and height l or length l. This length is l and we'll find out charge enclosed by it, okay? We'll find out charge enclosed by it. So since uh, uh, density is not uniform, so what I have done is I have selected a differential cylinder here. Okay, I've selected a differential cylinder within this green cylinder, which is having a radius of R. This is having a radius of R. Let us suppose this one has a radius of R prime with a width of dr prime. Okay, with a, with a width of dr prime. Now, every point on this in this uh, cylinder here every point in this cylinder here within this thickness dr is at the same distance r prime same distance therefore density will be same at all these points remember density is a r square since r is same for all these points which is r prime so density will be same for all these points within this yellow region within this yellow region a r prime square so for this region, we can simply find out charge as charge den density into volume. Okay, charge density into volume. So charge of this differential slender, dQ, I'll write, is equal to uh, charge density rho into volume dV. Okay, into volume dV. Now rho is A into R square, in this case R prime square, instead of R, we're using R prime now. Then dV, volume of this uh, slender, this thickness, this thickness here. <coughs> <coughs> just this thickness just the yellow portion of it which is basically a cylindrical shell of thickness dr prime which is 2 pi r prime radius is r prime dr prime that is the thickness into height l height whatever it is l 
Now, if you don't know about it, you can easily find it out. I'll leave that for you. You can find out outer volume minus the inner volume. Okay, outer volume minus the inner. Outer radius will be R prime plus D R prime, and inner radius is just R prime. Okay, inner radius is just R prime. Remember that this volume, this volume here, is volume of the cylinder, the shaded part, only the shade, not the total volume of the cylinder. This is just the volume of the thickness of the cylinder, this wall of the cylinder. Okay. 2 pi r prime dr prime l now uh, so this is charge of this differential uh, cylinder now we'll find our total charge enclosed by this cylinder of radius r that will be integration of uh, let's write it in a civil form in a civilized manner uh, 2 pi i'll take out a i'll take out l i'll take out all of this is constant then integration of r prime cube square and r prime is here r prime q d r prime limits 0 to r okay 0 to r so that all of this slender gets uh, included so q is equal to 2 pi a l into r prime to the power 4 divided by 4 limits are 0 to r so this implies q is equal to 2 pi a l uh, okay 2 will cancel out 2 into 2, so pi a l r to the power 4, just r to the power 4, 0 will, will not write that, divided by 2. So this is the charge enclosed by a cylinder, char charge within the cylinder of radius r. But remember this cylinder must be within the bigger charged cylinder. If the cylinder goes beyond the charged cylinder, obviously then a situation will change because charge is only up to capital R. Remember, this is capital R. Charge is only up to capital R, not beyond the capital R. So, this formula will work only for up to capital R. This will only work up to capital R. Up to R, okay, let's write up to R equal to capital R, okay. If uh, the cylinder goes beyond the capital R, then this is not valid because there won't be any charge beyond uh, capital R. So, this is charge enclosed now. Let's move back uh, to what we are asked to find out. Now we have to find out feel at this position R. Okay, we have to find out feel at this position R. Remember, at a distance of three centimeters, which is within the bigger cylinder, within the charged cylinder. So we have considered this Gaussian surface here, Gaussian cylinder. This is top of the cylinder, which is a flat surface, circular disc. So area, direction of area is upward. Remember, direction of area is always perpendicular to the plane of the area. So, plane of the area is like this. Direction is upward. Field has to be radially outward. This is that cylindrical symmetry. So, there is no way out. There is only one way field is radially outward. Then the bottom again, direction of area is downward. Field is radially outward. Then the curved part, area is outward and field is also radially outward okay for a curved surface perpendicular is the radius itself so area is along the radius along the radius now let's use gauss law integral e dot da integral e dot da is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon zero so this implies i'll break this integral for top surface bottom surface and the curved surface okay so, I'll write E dot dA for the top plus integral E dot dA for the bottom plus integral E dot dA for the curved surface is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Okay, Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Now, uh, for the top surface, angle between the two is 90 degrees. So, here theta is equal to 90 degrees. For the bottom surface, angle is again 90 degrees between the field and the direction of area. So, here also theta is 90 degrees. For the curved surface, both of them are in the same direction. So, for the curved surface, theta is equal to 0 degrees. Now, if theta is 90 degrees, cos of 90 is 0. So, this dot product becomes 0. This integral becomes 0. This integral becomes 0. So, both of these two integrals become 0. We are left with this <coughs> for the curved surface where theta is 0. Cos of 0 is 1. So, this one remains there. 
So for the top it is 0 plus for the bottom it is 0. For the curved surface I will write E D A cos of 0, angle is 0 degrees, okay, angle is 0, uh, is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0, Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Now from the cylindrical symmetry we can say that uh, for all these points lying on the curved surface magnitude of the field will be same just from the symmetry okay just from the symmetry. So E will come out then cos of 0 is constant comes out integration of dA is A is equal to Q enclosed okay A is already there so let's use A prime here let's use A prime. Let's use A prime. Q enclosed. Q enclosed is here. Pi A L R to the power 4 divided by 2. Okay. Pi A L R to the power 4 divided by 2. What is charge enclosed? Charge enclosed by the Gaussian slender. Charge enclosed by the Gaussian slender will include all this charge. Well, that is charge of the slender of radius R. And that is exactly what we have found here pi a l r to the power 4 divided by 2. So that's what I'll use here. Pi a l r to the power 4 divided by, is there anything there? Divided by 2, divided by 2 and then we have this epsilon 0 here. Okay, epsilon 0. So this implies E cos of 0 is 1, A prime, area. The two A's are different. This A is that constant which is included in the density, uh, charge density. This A prime is area. Uh, area of the curved surface of the slender, okay, which is 2 pi r l. So, 2 pi r l is equal to pi a l r to the power 4 divided by 2 epsilon 0. Pi and pi cancels out, l and l cancels out, 1 r cancels out. So, we have cube left here. So, 2 will go downstairs. E is equal to a r cube divided by 2 into 2 is 4 epsilon 0. This is field inside the cylinder at uh, distance r, radial distance r. Now we are asked to find out this field at a distance r equal to 3 centimeters. So we will use those values. So E is equal to E is equal. Now let us substitute the values. Okay, Let us substitute the values. A was uh, uh, 2.5 microcoulomb. Remember that 2.5 microcoulomb. So 10 to the power minus 6. That is here. 2.5 microcoulomb meter power 5. Co micro is 10 to the power minus 6. So it, be, it turns to SI system. Then R is 3 centimeters. So 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. So meters. Then we have this cube there. Divided by 4. Epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. So this implies E is equal. So we have to work out this. I have already done that. This comes out to be 1.9. 1.9 Newton per coulomb. 1.9 Newton per coulomb. This is field inside the charge cylinder at a distance of 3 centimeters. Now we have to find out here at a distance of 5 centimeters which is more than 4 centimeters. So this point is beyond the uh, cylinder, outside the cylinder, outside the charge cylinder. So we will move on to that one now. So I already drawn this Gaussian surface. So we have to find out field at this point here, point P at a distance of 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters. Now, what is charge enclosed by this? Left hand side of Gauss law integral e dot dA is exactly the same what we have done uh, in this first part. Now, right hand side is a bit different. Q enclosed. What is charge enclosed by this slender? Okay, what is charge enclosed by this slender? Charge enclosed by the slender is charge lying in this part here. Charge lying here. This part does not have any charge because this region is outside the charge slender. This region does not have any charge because this region is outside the charge slender. So within the Gaussian surface, within the Gaussian surface, this part carries charge. 
this part carries charge and this is a part of uh, this this part is itself a cylinder of radius remember capital r which is radius of the charged cylinder okay this part this is a cylinder now with a radius of capital r so q enclosed is the charge lying in this cylinder of radius capital r and length equal to l so in a stroke small r, we'll write down capital R. So pi A L R capital R to the power 4 divided by 2. Okay, capital R to the power 4 divided. This is the only uh, different point here, and I hope you got it. So Gauss law again, integral E dot dA, which is same as integral E dA cos of theta. E d a cos of theta is equal q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Again, you can break this integral for three parts, top, bottom, and the curved surface. Exactly the same thing what we did earlier. So this is integral E d a cos of theta for the top plus integral E d a cos of theta for the bottom plus integral E d a cos of theta for the curved surface is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Now, as was the case earlier, I will not repeat that. This integral becomes 0 because angle is 90 degrees. This integral becomes 0 because of the 90 degrees. This integral is E into 2 pi r l. Remember, it was E into a, a prime. Uh, was it here? Yeah. Uh, e into A prime. A prime was the area of the curved part of the Gaussian cylinder. Curved part of the Gaussian cylinder in this case is having a radius of small r. So 2 pi r l, curved part, radius, uh, area of the curved part of the cylinder, Gaussian cylinder is equal to Q enclosed. Remember, in a of small r, we have to write down capital R. So pi A l, capital R to the power 4 divided by 2. So pi a l capital R to the power 4 divided by 2. And then we have epsilon 0 downstairs. So what cancels out? Uh, pi and pi cancels out. L and L cancels out. R does not cancel out this time because this is small r. This is capital R. So this implies E is equal to a capital R to the power 4 divided by 2 comes downstairs here. So 2 into 2 is 4. Epsilon 0 is already there. Then the small r also comes downstairs. So a capital R to the power 4 divided by 4 epsilon 0 small r. This is field at any point outside the charge cylinder at a distance, radial distance of r. Now uh, in our case, we had find out uh, at a distance of 5 centimeters. So let's substitute the values now. So E is equal to, what is it, A R to the power 4, A R to the power 4 divided by 4 epsilon 0 small r. A remember was 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 in SI system. Capital R, radius of the charge cylinder is 4 centimeters. So 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 is again in SI system now meters power 4 divided by 4 epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 again in SI system small r is 5 centimeters which is 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters so all of this is in SI system so what we will get will also be in SI system so this is what you have to work out I have already done that this comes out to be 3.6 3.6 Newton per coulomb this is electric field at a distance of 5 centimeters from the axis, 3.6 Newton per coulomb, fine, that will do for this session.